hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to draft a bodice pattern um this is a flat pattern and you can also convert it to a built-up pattern and you can also get different blouses gowns skirts from this pattern but i'm just going to draft this pattern from the shoulder to the hip level so with our tools ready we are starting with our half length that is our nape to waist which is 17 inches so i'm just going to measure 17 inches So after that, I'll measure from the starting line, which is our point O, 12 inches, and that is our shoulder to knee pull measurement, 12 inches, and I'm going to roll across it. So this is our shoulder to knee pull line. Then from the line I'm going to come up by two inches. So this line represents our chest line. This is our chest line. And from our waistline, I'm going to measure. 23 cm 23 centimeters for the hip line 23 centimeters for the hip line Twenty three centimeters for the hip line now rule across to So these are the three major lines needed, the chest line, the waist line, and the hip line. So now with the measurement, I'm working with 10.25 for the chest line, 10.25, this is 10.25, then the waist line is 9.75 these measurements are in inches 9.75 in inches then the hip line would be 12 12 inches okay so i'm still going to move additional line so in my ruler i'm just going to connect Then on my chest line, my chest is where the chest measurement is going to sit, and the chest measurement is 15 in inches. 15 in inches, which is half of what I'm going to use. That's 7.5. so this is my chest line then I'm going to also take my shoulder measurement half of it which is 8.25 and the point zero line uh, starting line 8.25 so with that I'm going to just take a straight line down to be short 
before. So this is my shoulder lines. Then I'm going to come down by two inches. I'll come down by two inches or 1.5 rather. 1.5 two inches out. I think I prefer working with 1.5 inches. So I'm going to connect it to the starting line. So this is my shoulder line. After doing that, you could also confirm the armhole measurements on the shoulder line. If there is any excess, then you can increase your shoulder line two inches or more, depending on what the armhole measurement gives you. So my armhole here is 20, or the armhole I'm working here is 20, so half of it will be 10. So if I measure here, okay, I have 10.5, so that means I'm going to come down additional half inch. So that means my shoulder line, I came down 2 inches, no longer 1.5 inches. And I'm going to connect it back. So this line is where I'm going to create my neck opening. So I'll just use 3 by 3. So just the basic neck measurement so it's left for you to give it your own desired neck style so i'm just going to curve it in my french curve three by three so here i have my neck line and my shoulder line so I'm just going to clean out this wrong line here. Is well clean, well, just clean it more. But this is the original line. Then to create the armhole, okay. So I'm going to measure what I have from here from my shoulder line to my chest line is 8 inches. So I'm going to it's 10 inches rather. So I'll just measure out, mark out the half of the five. Coming by half inch or 0 0.75. Then I'm gonna connect the armhole. So this is it. So this is the front pattern and I think I would give the hip a little curve. Do the same in this. So after the armhole, I'm just going to measure. The round armhole is 20 inches, so half of it will be 10. So I'm going to confirm my armhole here, if it's 10 or not. Okay, so I'm having excess of 2 inches. So that means in such cases, you extend the armhole. So the armhole will be on the chest line okay first of all the chest line is 8 inches so that means I'm going to mark out 4 
come in by half an inch or one inch and I'm going to connect it back then I'll re measure it to see what I have so here gives me the exact 10 inches so this is an excess I will not be making use of this so this is the original armhole so in such cases always make sure that your armhole is not excess it doesn't shoot clothes when the armhole is excess so i can decide to add my darts or not but i'd rather not work with the darts or but if you're to add a dart then you're going to have to extend the waist measurement by one inch or three cm and you still connect it So this is if you want to use a dart on the clothes. So here I would create my dart line, which is 4. So I'm just going to measure 4 here. And take it by half an inch here and half an inch here. And I'll connect it to my, to the chest line. Okay, let me use a straight ruler. I'll connect it to this chest line. That's my shoulder to nipple line. This, let's call it the second chest line. Then I will measure two inches away from my hip line. Now do a straight line to extend that at the hip. So there I have it looking like this. So this is my front flat pattern, flat pattern. So I'm going to show you the back in another paper because I don't think this is going to reach for the back. So I'm going to show you how you draft the back pattern. It's similar to the front, but this is the front in a short and simple way. You can also manipulate this flat pattern to your built up pattern okay so here i have the back pattern and exactly what i did to the um front is what i did to the back but the back will have some little adjustments that makes it different from the front and those adjustments are from the neck and a curve a shaping from the waistline to the hip from the hip line to the chest line so I use the same half length but for my back to get my back measurement I used half of the half length so as I have 17 as the half length I used half of it which is 8.5 to get my back line so I have connected the dart everything so it's just to shape it out which is 2 cm from your waistline you measure two cm and you rule to your hip line few inches away from your hip line 
two cm. Okay, this is two cm. And I'll do the same to my background. Then in creating the neck, it's smaller than the front neck. So we use the same neck um, width. The neck width that we use for the front is the same we use for the back. But the depth will be different. So I use three inches for the neck width and the depth I'm going to use 1.5 inches. This is for the back. I'm going to connect it. Then in creating the armhole, you measure from your starting line to your back line. The measurement divided by two and you come in Average and you connect it. So this is the armhole line. Then I'll measure to be sure I have exactly ten. Yes, I have exactly ten. Then I'm going to connect my shoulder line. So this is the back pattern. We can even increase the armhole a little bit since we have exactly 10. So to avoid shortening the armhole line, I'm going to come down one inch. So I'm going to come down one inch to extend the armhole line. So it's giving me my turn back so I'm not going to make use of this for this so this is going to be my armhole so this is the back pattern so the only difference is the armhole the neck width and the neck that rather and the shaping that is always done very necessary to add the shaping from your waistline to your hip from your hip line to your chest line so this is it a flat pattern that can also be manipulated into a built-up pattern so i hope this tutorial is simple enough and easy for you guys to understand and don't forget if you have any question feel free to comment on the comment section i'll definitely reply to your question until my next video wherever you are have a nice day and please be safe thank you so much